Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you a reading in regards to messages from your person. This is for the zodiac sign of Taurus for the month of July, your 2021. If you are new to my channel, I'm sending you so much joy, blessings, love and light always. And if you are a returning viewer, watcher or subscriber, I'm sending you love and abundance and happiness and peace and all that good stuff. Blessings always. Welcome, welcome back. You guys know how much I appreciate and adore you. If you are a cross watcher, please do come in. I'm sending you the same blessings, love and light and peace and all that good stuff as well. In this reading, you guys, I will be adding an extended reading. So it's, it will be at the top left. Okay, so you guys can find the link if you're interested in seeing what's next for this connection, what's next in love and any love lessons you could take going forward just in life in general. Okay, so get in where you fit in. If you guys need to know any information about me, my email and such is in the description box below. I'm sending you all much love and light. Thank you guys for joining me today. And let's jump into your reading. Taurus. All right. Taurus, your messages were hot and ready to go. So there will be a lot coming through. I just want to give a shout out to Mystic Beauty as I am using her cards today. You guys seem to love when I use her cards. I really enjoy using them. This is the Mystic Beast official unofficial messages. If you have not checked out Mystic Beauty's channel, please do. Okay. And her merch and all her cool stuff. This is a very popular poppin' deck. It has so many different sides and parts to it. It's wonderful, everything that she is. So, you know, we're thankful for her and shout out to her and all that good stuff. All right. Everything has been prayed upon and meditated on. Let's begin your reading, Taurus. All right. Let's start with the bottom of the deck. Your person wants you to know that they never meant to hurt you. This feels sincere to me. But I know that they hurt you guys really bad and none of you deserve that. They do care about you. A lot of times people have a hard time showing it because they get so stuck in their old patterns, their old ways, their messy lifestyles, and they don't want to give up things. In life, it doesn't matter who you are. Everybody's going to give up something that they want or someone that they love. We all belong to God, number one, first and foremost. And... He calls the shots, okay? Also, people have to understand that sometimes you only come into somebody's life, into their world for a while. It could be a long, like, decades, years, months. Or it could just be a short while, a few weeks, a few days. Every person you meet is a learning experience. And while this person did not mean to hurt you, they know that they did. And this is something they truly have to live with. It is not a good feeling knowing that you hurt somebody who was great to you. You were good to this person. You were loyal. You were loving. You were there for this person. You put your all into a relationship. You cared about this person. You were sincere with telling them the truth, your feelings about them. You were ride a, ride a dime here, right by their side. But a lot of you, I'm already getting, you had to release them because they hurt you too long, too much, too often. You still got love for this person. A lot of you are still hopeful this person will get it right. You're praying for this person. But a lot of you, I'm hearing, are tired of this person too. I will say this, right off the bat, this person helped you to find your courage within. You've always been strong, Taurus. Very courageous. But this person helped you learn what endurance is. And you learn you don't want to endure any more pain from anybody. You learn not to tolerate it. You know how strong you are. It's like, you know you've been through a lot in life, period. This person was off of their balance and they were knocking you off your balance because they had very risky behaviors. It says, my pride and ego got in the way. This card came out three times. I'll put it back, I promise you. And it came back out again. I said, if it come out one more time, I'm taking it. So I took it first. And I've seen it in a lot of readings. Too many people. It doesn't even matter to Zodiac. In all Zodiacs, there's too many people who gambled thinking that you would still be there, Taurus. They thought because you're so strong, you're so strong-minded, you're so loving that you would never just hit that switch and be like, nah, it's over with, I'm done. They thought they can always come crawling back because you forgave and you tried again and you reconciled again and you were so patient. You were overly patient with this person. They thought they crap didn't stink, that you were never going to leave. They were in for the shock of their life when you pulled your energy back, pulled that plug, shut them off, shut them down, kicked them out, got rid of them. You emotionally ended this, physically ended it overall. 
This person was always putting you in competitions. This person was, um, like, they became an opposite of you. It's like you got to see their true colors. This person still wants you. They still want to be with you. They don't feel like it's truly over. They want you to know they never want to lose you. For a lot of them, they already lost you. They just haven't really fully got in tune with what that really means. You're standing firm. And a lot of you have learned like to finally get to a place of peace and calm down. You're still hurt. Some of you are definitely still angry too. Some of you had some choice words for this person and some of you still do. This person definitely tested your character. You already went through a lot in life. They knew that. This person pushed you to the brink and now they don't want to lose you. Mm. They should have chose you. That's what I'm hearing. They didn't want to lose you. They should have chose you. Thank you, spirit. They want you to know they are working on themselves. This feels genuine. You pulling back your love, your support, your encouragement, all the wonderful deeds that you do for this person or did for this person, you pulled it back, help this person to begin to heal, to work on their problems and themselves and to reflect and face what they've done. They know they hurt you. They know they've done you wrong. They know they're wrong for it because you didn't deserve that at all. Now you've learned to protect your heart and protect yourself. They're going to come back in with an offer is what I'm getting because they've done it. You know, you may have forgiven this person more than once in the past. That's what I'm getting for some of you several times. So for them, it's not really over until like they don't want to face that. I don't really know what it would take. Maybe you just completely disassociating yourself from this person. But some of you do have children. You still have to work with this person and deal with this person, you know, for the kids. This is an ongoing challenge of how to maneuver. Stay calm, stay peaceful, stay respectful. Keep the conversations short. Be short with your conversations. Don't give them too much because they try to feel you out. This person was very unreasonable, but they feel like your rejection would destroy them. So they still have belief and hope in this connection. The ball is in your court. It's going to be up to you what you decide. Use your own discernment, your own free will. For some of you, I'm getting this connection felt like love at first sight or the connection was so magnetic and so strong. You knew this was a different type of pool. Some of you, this was soulmate energy or even twin flame. This is high, high energy, higher level, very divine. You listen to your intuition and you know what? Your intuition only heightened while you was with this person because this person forced you to see them differently to see yourself differently you feel the change within you're more spiritual you're more spiritually strong at this point this person pushed you but it's like under pressure you didn't crack a lot of you did break down crying but you didn't fully crack you're better today they destroyed this connection and they're going to come back and ask you to be with them, to talk to them. Can we try again? Can we work it out? Can we make it happen? It's going to be totally up to you. They know that. I feel like a lot of them fear your answer. So like they're really trying to fill you out and test the waters for the timing of when to ask you out again or ask to be back in your life because the separation is severely affecting this person's sleep their dealings with other people, like they may come across as very irritable to other people or um, they're affected that you guys don't talk, that you're separated. Some of you have a legal separation here. For others of you, this is a divorce. God forbid. Stay strong. Know that you can get through it in a positive way. Keep developing spiritually. Don't stop. Don't let nothing or no one take you off from your path. This person was not stable minded. You found this out the hard way. So they really feel unbalanced without your love and support because you were always there to help them. Some of you enabled this person. Don't become an enabler. Stop that. It's like this person wanted a trophy wife or a trophy, you know, husband or, you know, partner. They like to show off. That's that ego. 
They didn't like to compromise. It was their way or no way. They didn't listen to you. They were very one-sided. They was ego tripping all the time. They want you to know, yes, there was karmics, options, and even a third party that they entertained. You know this. They want you to know they don't love them the way they love you. Love is an action. They showed that they were willing to gamble the relationship. They were willing to play you, ultimately playing themselves. Because they lost, big time. You freed yourself from this relationship. You stuck to your higher morals, your higher values. You stuck, I'm hearing like a lot of you stood your ground. You stuck to yourself. You went the spiritual route. So even though they don't love them, they were still willing to have sexual encounters with them and spend time with them and spend money on them and buying them gifts, taking them out. Some of them took them on a trip. They were places they had no business ever being and certainly not without you. A lot of you freed yourself from this person so that you can get back to your truest self. A lot of you are happier without this person. You're more at peace. You feel more free and you are free to love whoever you want. This person is confessing that they love you and I feel like that confession is going to come in. But you need more than a confession. You will, for those who will put, for those who will take the chance on this person again, Taurus, I see you putting this person through trial and error. They're going to have to go through some obstacles and some, <laughs> I'm here like double dare, it's funny. It's like physical challenge. Let's see if you can do it. It's more like an emotional challenge. But definitely, they're going to have to be more physical with you. Meaning you need to see them go into certain programs. You need to see them, you know, be more transparent with you and open with you and conversate with you and put the phones away and get off the social media and sit down and have dinner and conversations and be there for the family. You would have to see this person change in action in front of your eyes or you're not going to believe it. You would have to hear them. Some of you need to hear them make that phone call to the third party and just be like, this is done. I want my husband. I want my wife. I want my family. I'm moving on. Good luck. I won't be calling you. Please don't contact me. Some of you need to literally hear that to believe this person or anything that they say. That For some of you, that's the starting point. And that's if you choose to take this person back. Because that third party, highly affected relationship. And that's because your person 100% was in the wrong. Their commitment should have been to you. A lot of you found out that this person was non-committal. They have a lot of committal issues. They have emotional availability issues. They weren't rational. So when this person comes back, a lot of you are going to make them sweat. You're going to make them address everything that they feared and wanted to run from and tried to hide. The good thing about this here is a lot of them are learning self-love because you taught them. And for those of you who do stay in this person's life, how you carry yourself with dignity, respect, and class. You're wearing your crown. You're appreciating yourself. You're applauding your own successes. You're being your own cheerleader. You're lighting the way and being an excellent example for your own kids and yourself. That's enough to teach this person how to love themselves. For some of you, you are encouraging this person to take care of their health better. Take care of their dental, their hygiene. To do more things for themselves. Take care of their cars. Be more responsible. Be more punctual. Take care of your bills. You are teaching this person how to move in these streets in the right way, with respect. You're very inspirational for others and this person. They know you were good for them. You guys had really good memories. You guys felt a soul connection when you met. That first meeting was magical. It was magnificent. You had that gravitational pull. I feel like they're walking down memory lane. They miss you. They miss your love. They yearn for your love. That's what I'm hearing. They're reminiscing about all the good times. And they're being guided to take heed to some of the things that you told them to do. They're doing some of those things. They are working on themselves. Thanks to you. A lot of them miss 
the romance and your sex. They are addicted to you sexually. You know this. It's like when you guys aren't together, you can't keep your hands off each other. You know this person loves everything about your body. Even the parts you don't care for as much or you don't think much about. They love looking at you. And a lot of them are looking at your old messages in the phone or through social media. If they lead with sex, you're telling them, get up, get out, don't call me. They have to come correct with respect, with an apology, with a confession, with honesty. I do feel like that confession is coming. For the ones still on the low vibration, they're going to leave with sex. Can you come over tonight? What are you wearing? What are you doing? Are you thinking about me? Can you wear this for me? That's a no-no. You're hanging up the phone. A lot of you are not even answering it. A lot of you threw this person out. It says, get your stuff and get out. And I'm putting it nicely. You are not playing with them. Not even a little bit. You are not having it. Nope. So a lot of them want to move back in. They just want to get back in your good graces. They want to get back in the house. They want to get back on the same page. They want to come back in your world. They're trying to figure out how to do that, how to approach you. For some of them, they only have one chance. Some of them are in a negative chance stance. Because a lot of you are starting to really love this freedom to date who you want, go where you want, and not have to like fix that extra plate for that person when you cook. You don't have to do that person's laundry anymore. And you didn't mind doing it. That's one less person for you to worry about. So a lot of you are a lot more stress-free and worry-free. You don't have to worry about somebody being you know, vindictive or um, trifling, cheating. You don't want to deal with no third party. That's crazy. Some of them will use the children to get back in your good graces. The kids miss us. The kids want to see us together. Look at the old pictures. Don't we look good together? But they ruined it. The kids are a significant factor in this relationship. A lot of you do feel divinely guided to this person or you felt that way at some point, at some time. This person has to make some major changes for you to even continue on any type of relationship or relations or any type of path with you. They're going to have to really get themselves together. Raise their vibration because you are only focusing on people that serve your highest good. People who are really great to you. People who make you smile, make you laugh. People that make you feel secure. People that you can really trust. Because you lost trust in this person. You lost faith in this relationship. But the ball is in your court. Basically, it's, it's going to be up to you to decide. But I feel like this person is going to try again and again and again. But it's still always going to be up to you. You learn to love yourself more, which is beautiful. A lot of you are focused more on your money. Getting your coins, improving your intuition and your spiritual relationship with God. A lot of you see a lot more luck in your life. Your energy is boosted without this person. The more you go forward, the more you feel like, okay, it was fate that we met. But you're asking yourself, is it fate that you go on with or without this person? What's better? Right now, your destined direction, you're co-creating, co-manifesting with spirit. A lot of you feel like life feels lighter and freer and more liberating without this person. You're focusing on your opportunities. A lot of you could sleep better. You're eating better. You're doing what you want. A lot of you have returned back, I'm saying reading, or you're really getting real into history, I'm hearing. Some of you are clairvoyant. So you could see the future. Some of you will be readers. This is great. It's like you guys are ready to make some moves. Something unexpected is coming in, but you feel good. It's like unexpected movement. It's like the more you move forward, the more you're more clear on your path, on your purpose. It's like once this person was removed out of your way, it's like a lot of things became more clear for you. 
And it's like you're getting the answers to your questions a lot faster. You're depending on your intuition and spirit. You're going to God. You're praying. You're meditating. A lot of you are doing yoga or exercises. You feel better about yourself. This, for, this person has to come in correct. They know this too. They know it. But some of them will test your patience. Especially those who are childlike and immature. This person is truly jealous of you. Very jealous of you. Taurus, you guys could be dealing with the Libra or Scorpio. Because those two zodiac signs came to mind when I picked up this card. I think Scorpio came at first. Taurus, they are jealous of you. Or you may have those signs in your chart. Or you could be moving on to somebody with those signs. But this person is jealous of you. Highly. They know you respect yourself. They know you're powerful. You're a winner. You're beautiful inside and out, Taurus. You're dynamite. People are attracted to your, like, your energy. You can be funny and exciting. You take charge and get things done. You learn to be more positive about your life. That's amazing. I love that. You're influencing people without even realizing it at times. You've influenced this, this person to like dig into spirituality. Some of them are praying because you taught them how. Or they're praying more. They're going in depth with their prayers. This person never meant to hurt you. But you are wondering, will they do it again? Should I open this door and trust? It's up to you. You, a lot of you, especially my watchers, my wonderful watchers, you guys have amazing tools now. You've watched me and enough readers to know what red flags are, what your triggers are, what it looks like when a person cares, and what it looks like for somebody to change. Change can happen overnight. But what you need to look for is the consistency of that change behavior. Have the pattern changed? Did they end a toxic cycle that was within their family? That's what we are all here to do so that we don't repeat that for the next generation. You are helping lead the way in a positive like, like movement. You're teaching. You're teaching the youth. You're teaching others how to move. How to command respect for themselves, for their bodies for their souls, for their unique beings that they are. This person miss you a lot. They're affected. They need to be affected. They need to know what it is to miss you so that they can learn how to appreciate you and everybody that loves them going forward. It's not just about you. The bigger picture is that this person changes for the better. A total change that they can implement into their life for good, for the long haul, forever. You are wonderful. You're magnificent. You guys are amazing. Never, ever forget that. And always keep your trust and faith in God. Listen to your own instincts. You all have a powerful intuition. That's your connection to God and spirit. Stay classy. Stay creative. Stay beautiful. Inside and out. Stay handsome. Stay loving. Stay loyal. And thank you guys so much for watching. Taurus, this has been your reading for the month of July, your 2021. If our journey ends here for this reading, you guys are awesome. And if you guys want to know more about this connection, about what's to happen next with this person, what's next in love for you, or the lessons that you guys can take going forward for life, please tune in to the extended. The link is below at the top left in the description box. You guys are wonderful. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as possible. I'm sending you so much joy, abundance, happiness, love, loyalty, and light. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, Taurus.